Hi team, greetings everyone. In our previous session, we saw how to create a simple script in Fireflake platform and we saw the execution as well. In today's session, we are going to see manual test case management in Fireflake platform. So what do you mean by manual test case management? So here in Fireflake platform, we can manage the manual test cases, meaning that we can write the manual test cases and we can manage them in the Fireflake platform itself. So here it is not about managing the manual test cases. We can map our manual test cases and the automation script to the same use case. So here, if you can see, we have created a automation script for this shopper module, which is under login. So this is an automation script. Now, if I want to map a manual test case for this particular automation script, all I have to do is just click on this plus button over here. So once I mouse over on this particular plus button, if you can see, it is asking me click to add manual test case. Talking about manual test case, whenever we are going to write a manual test case, obviously we need a manual test case template. So first let us create a manual test case template and let us create a manual test case in Fireflink platform. Now you may have a question like Fireflink, does it provide a default template to Add the manual test case, yes, Fireflink provides a default template. So how to see that? For that, just click on this configuration, go to templates and we have manual test case template. Just click on this manual test case template. So once you click on manual test case template, if you can see this is the predefined or it's the default template which is provided by the Fireflink platform. What if I want to view this? Just click on the name. So once you click on the name, you can view the template. See here, test case name is there, requirement ID, status, and these are the different columns that we have in the test case, means template. So here, you feel like this is not the template that we follow in our organization. We want to create our own template. Is it possible in Fireflink? Yes, that is also possible. Now, I'll just click on this back button. Here in the top left corner, Sorry, top right corner, if you can see there is a plus button, plus template button. I'll just click on this plus template button, which will navigate me to create manual test case template. Here, I'm supposed to enter the template name. So as of now, I'm working on Shopper Stack project, right? I'll create a template name with the same name. Shopper Stack Template. Here, if you can see, these are the different fields which is by default available. Say for example, I want to add one more field like precondition as a text field. In that case, what I have to do? If we have an option here, plus fields. I'll just click on this. So which is populating this add field pop-up. Here if you can see, select custom field. So it is not about text field. You can add any kind of field to your manual test case. So as we were discussing about text field, let me choose text field as of now. But the other options which are available is text area, radio button, link, drop down, date, checkbox, attachment, text editor. So we have multiple options. As of now, I'll go with text field. So once I select text field, if you can see, it is asking for label, which is nothing but the name of the text field. So here, as we discussed, I'll just give the name as precondition. And it is asking for placeholder. Placeholder is nothing but the hint. If you can see, as of now, it is reflecting as type here. In the same fashion, if there is a text field, I want to give some hint. Type precondition here. What I will do, I'll just type the same here. Type precondition here. So this will be displayed as a hint in that particular text field. And here it is defining the maximum length and minimum length of characters that can be entered in this particular text field, which I'm creating. And here, coming to default value, whether a user is entering the value or not. By default, I want this value to be present in that particular text field. In that case, I can give the default value. As of now, I don't want to give any kind of default value to this particular text field. So I'm not filling it as of now. Coming to this enable radio button, I want this particular text field to be enabled or not. If you, are, if you want it to be enabled, just say yes. If no, give no. Uh, I want it to be enabled, so I'll give it as yes here. Coming to this mandatory, if I want this particular text field which I'm creating as mandatory, 
then without the filling this particular field, the user cannot create a manual test case. If I want it to be mandatory, I can give it as yes. So in my case, I do not want this particular text field to be mandatory. Then what I will do, I'll just give it as no. So once after filling all the required details, just click on add. So here if you can see, precondition is added. And if you want to edit this, click on this edit field icon. Say for example, I want to increase the minimum length of characters to 4. And I will just update the same which will be updated. If I want to remove this, I can use this remove field icon. What if, if I want to add some more fields? Same procedure, just click on this plus field button. And here, now I want to add a link. I'll just use this link. And once I select link, it is asking for give me the name of the link. So what is the name I'm going to give here? I'll just give it as URL. And I'll just click on add. So if you can see the link is added to this particular template and here in this template we have different columns serial number test description input expected result actual result and status so after test description i want to add one more column so how do we add that just click on this more option and insert column right i'll just click on this so it is inserting a new column if you can see i want to rename this i'll just remove the name and once I remove the name, if you can see, there is a warning message. Column should not be in empty. Column name should not be empty, right? So here I'll just give the name as test steps. So this is the template that we follow in the Shopper Stack application. So now I want to create this template. What I have to do, just click on create, which will create the template. Now the template is created and it is mentioned as user defined. The one which was present previously is mentioned as predefined. Predefined in the sense it's a default one and here from if you can see it is saying license and this is saying project. Since I have created this template in individual project it is saying from project. And if you notice one more thing I am able to edit or delete a user defined project means user defined template. If I try to edit or delete a predefined template I am not able to. Why because they are default templates they cannot be edited or deleted. And here we have successfully created a shopper stack template. If I want to create one more template, is it going to allow me? If you can see the template button, plus template button is disabled now. Because when I say in a project, we will be following one single template, right? We cannot follow multiple templates in one single project. So only whenever we are in individual project level, we can create only one template. As of now, we are in individual project level. I have created one template. What if I am in all project level? Can I create multiple templates? Yes. Let me show that as well. First, let me navigate to all projects. So in all projects also we have configuration, templates and manual test case template. So here we can create n number of templates. Why? Because when I say all project level, it is not specific for a project. It is specific for the license. Under a license, I can create n number of projects. So here you can create n number of templates which will be reflecting in all the individual projects. So whenever you are creating a template in all projects, it is going to reflect in all the projects under the license. And whenever you are going to create a template in individual project, it is going to reflect only in that particular individual project. So now I'll just click on this projects. Let me navigate to shopper stack. Since we have created a template, I want to make the template which I created as a default template. So how do we do that? Navigate to test case template, just click on this configuration, templates, manual test case template. Now click on the radio button of the template which you created. So here it is saying default template, warning default template, hi Steve Anderson. Are you sure you want to change default template? I'll say change. So now the default template is my template which I created. So now let me just go to test development and here now what I will do, I will add a manual test case template under this shopper module which is under registration. I will just click on this plus button, add manual test case. Here I am supposed to enter the name of the test case. So I will just say TC001 underscore verify the user is able to register. So this is my use case. So here, since I'm automating a web application, I'll just create this script type as web. And here by default, current module is taken. And here if you can see test case template is by default taken as the shopper stack template. Why? Because I have made that particular template as a 
default template. If I want to view this template, I can just click on this view template button, which will navigate to a new tab and it will show us the actual template of that particular template. Now let us focus on creating the template. So that means creating the test case. I'll just click on this create button. So now if you can see the manual test case is created. Here we have to start writing the manual test case. Since I am writing this manual test case for registration process, let me just start writing the test case. Serial number one. Test description is nothing but verify the user is able to register. I'll just copy the same. And here test step is nothing bad. Let me just go to swap a stack. So here if you can see when I give the URL of the application, obviously I'll be landing in the welcome page of the application, right? So I have to enter my first step as open browser and navigate to URL. So here I'm supposed to provide the URL. Let me just copy the URL. So my expected result will be welcome page should be displayed. So let me enter my second step. So in the welcome page, I'm supposed to click on login, which will navigate me to the login page. So my second step is click on login button. So this is my second step, right? I'll just copy paste it in steps and here I'm not giving any input so I'll say not available and login page should be displayed. So now my third step. So I'll just check in the UI here. I'm supposed to click on create a con button which will navigate me to the sign up page. So my third step is click on create account button. So here also I'm not entering any input. I'll say not available. So here sign up page should be display. Now I want to add one more row. So what I will do, click on this more option, insert row below. I'll add my fourth step where I have to fill all the required details and click on register button. So I'll just say fill all the required details and click on register button. So here I have to enter all the required details like first name, last name, gender, email, password, phone number. So all these details we have to enter and here I have to enter my expected result which is nothing but user should be registered successfully. So now I have written the manual test case. So after writing the manual test case we have to save this. I'll just click on save which will save the manual test case. So now if I want to edit it, I'll just click on this edit button and I can make the changes in this particular manual test case and I can again click on save to save the changes. So now let me just navigate to test development section. Here, once I navigate to test development section, under registration, we have a software module where I have written a manual test case. Under login module, we have a software module where I have written an automation script. If I want to map a automation script for this particular use case for which I have written the manual. So now what I have to do, just click on this plus button. So if you can see, 
click here to add automation script. Once I click on it, this will create the automation script and it will navigate me to the automation script. So it, let me just navigate back. So if you can see for a single use case, I have mapped both automation script as well as manual test case. Okay, now let me take this particular script where it is having automation script. If I want to add a manual test case, then just click on this plus button, which will add the manual test case. I'll just click on it, which will create the manual test case and it will navigate me to the manual test case. Let me just navigate back. So now if you can see, for this particular use case, we have mapped both automation script as well as manual test case. If you click on this manual tab, which will navigate you to the manual test case. Let me navigate back. Now, if you click on the script name or the automation script, means automation, it is going to navigate you to the automation script. Let me just click on it. It is navigating me to the automation script. So this is how we do manual test case management in Firefly platform. So we will discuss the next topic in our next session. Thank you.